Hey guys, it's Libby and today I am going to shocker do a book review. I'm going to be talking about Under Major Domo Minor by Patrick DeWitt. Let me unpack that title for you. So our main character is Lucy, short for Lucian Minor, and he gets employment as the assistant to a Major Domo. So he is Under Major Domo Minor. You may have heard of Patrick DeWitt's earlier book, The Sisters Brothers. He's into confusing titles, which is his sort of take on the Western genre. And Under Major Dome. <laughs> and Under Major Domo Minor is his take on the Gothic genre, and I am all about the Gothic genre, my friends. It's kind of like a parody, but it's not silly. And, um, I, I don't, it's done very, it's, one might be tempted to call it a parody of a gothic novel, but it's not, like, silly. It, it, I don't think its goal is to point out the problems or the silliness with gothic novels, which, trust me, there is silliness, I am aware. It embraces the silliness. I don't know, it's like, it's like the most self-aware gothic novel. God, I don't know how to describe it. When you read it, you'll know. Now you have to go read it. So, synopsis. Lucy... Well, Terry Pratchett has this expression, born with a kick me sign on his back, and that perfectly describes Lucy. He's a bit of maybe a dork, doesn't have the best social skills, um, this is set in, a, like, 19th century feeling, either England or Germany. So he lives in a small town where, like, everybody knows each other, and it's kind of hard to just hide in that situation. Um, he kind of has a girlfriend, but she's now left him for a cooler guy, and his mom kind of thinks that it's his fault that his dad died. So Lucy decides to get a job somewhere else. So on his way out of town he has several hella awkward encounters. Not improved by the fact that Lucy thinks he's good at lying, but he is really bad at lying. And so anytime he tries to make himself seem cool, it just, uh, it fails so miserably. And he makes his way to the Castle Von O, where there are only three other inhabitants, the Major Domo that he is working for, the cook, Agnes, who you just really would rather not eat her cooking, and the Baron. I don't expect you shall be seeing the Baron. Also, do you go to bed early? Because you should probably retire before 10 p.m. and also lock your door and don't come out. It's that kind of a place. Ooh, I think I've come up with a good description for it. It's like if Terry Pratchett did uh, a rather serious gothic novel. That's what it feels like. That's why I love it. It's gothic and Terry Pratchett. Oh my god, this book is genius. I found all of the characters not necessarily likable, but very interesting. Lucy makes friends with a couple of thieves. He also uh, develops a massive crush on one of their daughters. Unfortunately, she already has a boyfriend and he has like a bayonet. So the book is mainly about Lucy trying to make his and everybody else's worlds a little better even though he's in way over his head. But, ah, oh, this book is so hard to describe. I don't know how to sell it to you. It, it just had this sort of magically realistic, deadpan charmingness. And also, like, allegory out the wazoo. I'm gonna have to read that again to be like, wait, why did Lucy smash the spider? What does that mean? But I'm gonna stop rambling. That's a lie. I'm gonna stop rambling after I say one more thing, which is that I listened to this on audiobook and I can recommend that method of consumption. The narrator was top notch. Um, he's man, but he does women's voices really well, which is sometimes a thing that is difficult. Although I can say I am a female audiobook narrator and I don't do men's voices very well. It's tough, guys. Anyway. Under Major Domo Minor, I recommend it for adults who are into weird gothicness and 
humor. That book's too smart for me.